all right guys here we go this is a new video of me continuing on the ls swap on my uh, 84 c10 chevy pickup um this is the wiring diagram this is how you would make a three wire four wire uh, uh standalone harness um on the left here this is the wiring diagram that i got from lt1swap.com on the right this is a diagram that uh Corey Pen Prince or Pence or something like that on Facebook. Sorry for pronouncing your last name wrong. Um, uh, he actually helped me on this. This is his diagram. He has been helping me a lot, explaining me what everything does, uh, how to hook it up. So I took the drawing that he sent me and I redone and made my own here. I'm going to explain to you how this works. This is on a 99 to 02 drive by cable system. Okay, first of all up top you have, this is what we're gonna, I'll explain what these are and then I'll explain what they, what wires run where. This is your battery. This is your main power relay. This is your fuel pump relay. This is gonna be your new fuse box. This is the ODB2 port. These are the two connectors that's gonna hook up to your PCM. This is gonna be your check engine light. First of all, You'll have a hot wire. This will be the first wire, as in three wire, four wire hookup. This is the first wire. It's going to run to the main power relay. From there, it's going to run to constant 12 volt uh, part of your fuse uh, box. Uh, you're going to have the bottom one will be ground. It comes over to the second relay. This will be the uh, fuel pump relay. Uh, you'll tie those together, ground that one off. That's your second in the three, four wire uh, LS harness. Uh, on the top, this is a pink wire. It's going to run to your old, this is how I'm going to run it. It's going to run to my old uh, distributor wire, key on, basically. When you turn the key on, you got 12 volts. This will in turn run from this pin here to power up my key on fuse box okay jumping over to the fuel pump relay again we have the main wire coming down to the constant 12 volt block uh, fuse block uh, the ground the left one over here will run to the fuel pump the top one is going to run from green wire on your PCM uh, plug that will run to it. Coming down on the bottom side of these of the new uh, fuse box, you'll have constant power coming down to your ODB2 port. Your ODB2 port will have another wire. It's black with a white stripe. Black also here. Both of those tie together. You will make those come down to another ground. You'll have a blue wire that is going to come to your blue port on your uh, PCM. That's known as your data wire. Okay. The orange constant power needs to run to the red box, the red plug on your PCM to, uh, to keep power to it at all times so it keeps the memory. Uh, each pink wire, whenever you cut your factory plug off that... Uh, this originally all these wires ran to a plug that bolted to the stock fuse box under the hood you'll cut all that off of uh, that plug your injector wires your coil wires your uh, mass airflow sensor your uh, trans all those will be pink also all these uh, coil wire or um, I'm sorry injector wires you'll bunch those together and you'll run it up to your 12 volt keyed power. It means when you turn the key on, you have power to it. It comes down and run down into your harness and go to each one of the injectors. Same goes for your O2 sensors. It comes to the key 12 volt powered. Also for your MAF, your trans, coil, it'll also come down. You'll also run 12 volt power from the red plug It'll have pink it also comes to a fuse also I'll probably end up putting another fuse here but I can 
add it in with any one of these also to uh, put power to the PCM for the key power. You'll also have another wire coming down to the check engine light. That'll be 12 volt, that way it has power when you turn the key on. And if something goes wrong, you'll have another red wire coming from your red piece, or I'm sorry, I don't know if it'll be a, a red wire, but it'll be from your red plug on your PCM. It'll be a check engine wire, which will be pin number 46. And if we look over here at pin number 46, it shows malfunction indicator lamp, which means that's your check engine lamp. That'll be the one that runs to the uh, PCM plug. Uh, I hope this helps. Um, like I said, Corey, um, he is the one that had this diagram. He has been helping me a lot. As also has been uh, Mark, aka a gearhead for life on YouTube. The guy is smart. He does a lot of this stuff. Um, Y'all need to go check him out because he's got a lot more videos than this. He's he's done quite a bit of information on doing these LS swaps. But um, as I do my LS swap, I'm going to do my best to uh, video everything that I know. That way I can pass along the information. Um, LT1 has a lot of information on there also. Um, you can go on there and get just about anything you need to know. Uh, th these two printouts that I've got. Uh, this is for the red plug. That one's for the blue plug. All the yellow on here are wires that I'm going to eliminate out of the stock uh, PCM plugs. You won't need them. Uh, I will be using a 4L60E transmission behind this. Um, also, in order for this all to work, you have to have your PCM flashed. Which means you have to have someone take the VATS off. V-A-T-S, which stands for vehicle anti-theft system so if you have any questions please just put them down in the video uh, comments right here and i'll try my best to help you if not i'll ask someone and i'll get back with you thank you and god bless